the Komatsu D-575 a superdozer, a behemoth of earth-moving machinery, was a testament to human engineering prowess and a cautionary tale of technological overreach. It was introduced in the late 1980s and was designed to tackle the most demanding tasks, from mining operations to large-scale infrastructure projects. However, its production was ultimately discontinued, a decision influenced by a confluence of factors, including astronomical costs, repair challenges, and the emergence of more efficient alternatives. A technological marvel, the D-575A was a marvel of engineering. Powered by a massive diesel engine, it could move the Earth at an astonishing rate, making it a coveted asset for construction companies and mining operations. Its sheer size and power commanded respect, but it also came with a hefty price tag. The cost of acquiring and operating a D-575A was prohibitive for many, as it required significant capital investment and specialized maintenance. Repair challenges and high operating costs. Repairing the D-575A was no small feat. Its complex systems and immense weight made it difficult to maintain in service. Any breakdown or damage required specialized equipment and skilled technicians further driving up operating costs. The sheer size of the machine also posed logistical challenges, as it could not be easily transported or repaired in the field. Its fuel consumption exacerbated the D-575A's astronomical operating costs. Its massive engine required a prodigious amount of diesel fuel, which combined with the high fuel price, made it an expensive machine. Additionally, the D-575A's emissions were significant, contributing to environmental concerns and regulatory challenges. Competition from smaller, more efficient machines. Despite its impressive capabilities, the D-575A faced competition from smaller, more agile machines that became increasingly efficient. Excavators and bulldozers with advanced hydraulic systems and attachments could often accomplish similar tasks more cost-effectively. The D-575A's sheer size and weight also limited its versatility as it was unsuitable for all job sites. The decline and discontinuation as the costs of acquiring, operating, and repairing the D-575A continued to rise, demand for the machine began to wane. Komatsu, faced with declining sales and increasing operational expenses, made the difficult decision to discontinue its production. The D-575A, once a symbol of engineering excellence, was relegated to the history books, a valuable lesson. The D-575A's failure was a valuable lesson in the limitations of technological advancement. While a remarkable engineering achievement, it ultimately proved a commercial and operational challenge. Its astronomical costs, repair difficulties, and environmental impact made it a difficult proposition for many customers. The D-575A's legacy is a cautionary tale about balancing technological innovation with practical considerations. The Komatsu D-575A versus the Caterpillar D-11, the Komatsu D-575A Superdozer faced stiff competition from its primary rival, the Caterpillar D-11. While both machines were formidable, the D-11 offered several advantages that ultimately contributed to the D-575A's demise. Size and power, the D-575A was slightly more extensive and powerful, but the D-11 was more practical for many applications due to its smaller size and lower fuel consumption. Cost and operating expenses, the D-11 was generally more cost-effective, with lower acquisition and operating costs. Versatility, the D-11 was more versatile and could work in a broader range of conditions and on more confined job sites. Reliability and maintenance, the D-11 was known for being more reliable and easier to maintain. Environmental impact, while both machines had a significant ecological impact, the D-11 was generally considered slightly more environmentally friendly. A closer look at the Caterpillar D-11. The Caterpillar D-11 was introduced in 1986 as a direct competitor to the D-575A. While it was not as large or powerful as the D-575A, it offered several advantages, making it a more practical and cost-effective choice for many applications. The D-11 was powered by a smaller but more efficient diesel engine, which helped to reduce fuel consumption and operating costs. It also had a more compact design and better maneuverability, making it more versatile and accessible to operate in tight spaces. Additionally, the D-11 was known for its reliability and durability, which helped to minimize downtime and reduce maintenance costs. 
The D11 success. The D11 success can be attributed to its performance, efficiency, and reliability. It offered a compelling alternative to the D575A, particularly for customers concerned about the high costs and logistical challenges associated with the giant machine. As a result, the D11 quickly gained market share and became the dominant force in the heavy equipment market. The legacy of the D575A, despite its ultimate failure, the Komatsu, D575A remains a remarkable engineering achievement. Its development pushed the boundaries of what was possible regarding size, power, and complexity. However, the D575A's legacy is also a cautionary tale about balancing technological innovation with practical considerations. The D575A's failure highlights the challenges of introducing radical new technologies into the marketplace. While it was a groundbreaking machine in many ways, it was ultimately outpaced by smaller, more efficient alternatives. The D575A's legacy serves as a reminder that even the most advanced technology can be rendered obsolete by changing market conditions and technological advancements. A deeper dive into the engineering marvels. Both the D575A and the D11 were engineering marvels in their own right. Let's delve deeper into some of the key features that made these machines so impressive. Power and torque A, the D575A was equipped with a massive diesel engine that produced incredible power and torque. A. The D11, while not as powerful, still had sufficient power to handle demanding tasks. Hydraulic systems. Both machines relied on advanced hydraulic systems to control their various functions, including the blade, tracks, and ripper. These systems allowed for precise and efficient operation. Design and construction, both the D575A and the D11 were built to withstand the rigors of heavy duty work. They feature robust construction, durable components, and advanced safety features. The impact on the industry. The competition between the D575A and the D11 significantly impacted the heavy equipment industry. It drove innovation, forced manufacturers to improve their products, and ultimately benefited customers by providing them with a broader range of options. The future of earth-moving machinery. The D575A I and the D11 represent two different approaches to heavy equipment design. The D575A was a bold experiment in pushing the boundaries of what was possible, while the D11 took a more practical and efficient approach. As the industry continues to evolve, we will likely see a mix of both methods, with manufacturers striving to balance technological innovation with practical considerations. Conclusion, the Komatsu D 575 A Superdozer was a remarkable engineering achievement, but its ultimate failure highlights the challenges of introducing radical new technologies into the marketplace. While it was a groundbreaking machine in many ways, it was ultimately outpaced by smaller, more efficient alternatives. The D575A's legacy serves as a reminder that even the most advanced technology can be rendered obsolete by changing market conditions and technological advancements.